product review for you folks. Um, type of pencils I've gone to using as far as for my work. I have here the Generals line. These are types of Generals packages that you can get. And the vendor that sells them is um, Michaels. You can find some of these pencils, smaller pack pencils like this at uh, Join Fabrics, believe it or not. And you can eat uh, Blix USA carries some of these. And there's a couple online um, stores too that I've seen they're selling them, but I like to buy local first and then go from there. It's just the way how I am. Um, so these here, uh, Sketch and Wash, they're really cool. Pretty self-explanatory. Then here is just a um, classic essentials toolkit. And the other thing I want to point out about General's pencils, right here, right here, made in the USA. Now, I mean, that's kind of, like, you know, I know I explained, like, I use Liquitex paint, and that's not made in the USA, but uh, I've tried some U.S. products, and this is the one I have found I like the best, but I digress. Um, so, made in the USA, bought locally, and um, the other thing that's good to point out about made in the USA products is of all the environmental protection laws that they have to abide by whereas like some pencil made in China who knows what laws that they follow and a lot of our standard number two pencils that you buy at a regular office store is just you know made in China so this here about three bucks for that. Um, this here, per, probably not much more than ten or twelve dollars. I can't remember anymore. But this this kit here comes with a lot of stuff. You have here a graphite drawing pencil on HB, two uh, B, four B, and then you got the ebony black soft drawing pencil. And then you got a charcoal pencil, uh, 4B, and a 6B. And you got the graphite. Graphite's always good. I like graphite. Uh, and then you got compressed charcoal sticks, pastel stick, crayon they put in parentheses, white pastel stick. And then you got some charcoal kneaded eraser, a little red art. Artisan Sharper. Ooh, it's not in here. I can't see it. But anyways, we'll open that up later. Here's the same kind of deal. Uh, just different packaging. A little bit cheaper price. I think this is probably $8. Sketchmate. Um, comes with a white neon eraser. I don't know if they got a listing here. Looks like it. Uh, nothing. Is, it says uh, graphite drawing pencil. Soft, medium, hard. You got an extra soft ebony pencil. You got a sand paddle pointer. You got a da, 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 charcoal. Let's see here. Factory you got a sharpener, and you got a tortillion. Tor tor. Oh, focus tortillion. Other people would know it as a blending stump. I have. Well, one of my blending stumps got washed in my pocket. I think it's the one I've been using for a long time. But you can see, like, here, here's one I have. This this blending stump, folks, 20 years old, and I'm still using it. 20 years old, and I'm still using this blend, this same one. I think it doesn't work as well as the other one that I washed because that black part on the top there, that's, um, that's colored pencil black. So it doesn't really help. But I still use it still use it 
So, um, yeah, let's crack these things open. And make sure I don't get no staples in the carpet. And let's open this up. Let's adjust the camera. Get all the mackerel. So that might have been kind of fuzzy for you folks, but I'm not going to make a third cut on this. So yeah, definitely I've been, um, the only product I've been buying now for the pencils, as far as for new product, has been the general pencils. Um, I, I do like them, I, I, and like I said, I want to support local first and then go out from there. Um, my color pencils, I haven't really found anything locally that I like, but um, I haven't, means I haven't stopped looking yet. But, um, Pencil sharpener. You can always use more pencil sharpeners. I actually gave one away to a customer. They came in like, where did our our pencil sharpener go? I need to sharpen a pencil. And I'm like, oh, here, use this because I don't know where your pencil sharpener went off to. And uh, so um, these are all wood pencils. And my extra black pencils got mixed in here already. Darn it. But one pencil I like a lot out of the General's line is this. Oh, gotta go back and macro. This uh, layout pencil, extra black. Number five, 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 five. Well, three fives. This stuff is the bomb for black lines. Um. goes on really smooth it does not hold a point very good though I mean you have to constantly keep on sharpening it but where is but like the the outline done in here it, it isn't ink or anything it's done with that extra black so all the all the outline done on this piece here was done with that even the the deep black um, coil there was done in the same thing. Really like that. I like it so much that I have I got like eight of them. Eight of them. Nine now. I got a whole bunch. These are all extra black number five five five. And like I said. Um, doesn't hold a point very much so you're constantly sharpening them so that's why I got a bunch of them got a bunch of them um, here's the the blending stump or the tor 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 torillion the torillion you can buy a bag full of these at uh, Blix or Michaels um, they're, they're good they're good. I mean, they, they, do, they do what they're supposed to do. Um, but I don't need a whole bunch of them because, like I said, I got one that's 20 years old. I do prefer blending with a stump as opposed to using a finger. Uh, the reason why is because your finger has oil. And you're spreading that oil with the, with the graphite or charcoal. And you're pushing that into your, your product. So, yep, there's your Torillion. Things, these things are pretty cool. You can buy them separately for about 80 cents. Uh, you just take this uh, cover slip off. And then what you have here, uh, you want to use it for your, like, your charcoal pencils. Um, because you take a charcoal pencil and you sharpen it with this. The, the tip always breaks apart inside. Well, a lot of the pencils does that too every once in a while. But... More so with charcoal because the charcoal medium is not really that hard. Uh, so you take this and then you just rub it to get your... You're, you're basically sanding the, the charcoal pencil down to a point. So that's what this little doohickey is. If you ever saw them and wondered what the paint stick was for, um, that's what it's for. Sharpening your pencils. Um, acrylic water eraser. I don't use the eraser too much. Not anymore. Uh, only if I'm doing a technical drawing where I have to 
we have to clean up excess lines and then uh, here are the 2B it looks like that one is an HB and a 2H I tend for most of my drawings are going to be about two uh, an HB or what's the other equivalent to an HB um, basically a number two pencil um, you can get a lot of varieties of darkness out of it the H levels you want to use that for like your technical drawings uh, it's going to be a harder lead uh, and you can do a little bit finer lines and then of course and then the softer leads are going to get darker quicker um, so that was the little big deal again you got a uh, bunch of pencils for like under eight bucks with a white eraser you get a tortellini tor -tor the, the blending stump and a nice little sand sharpener and pencils charcoal I don't work with charcoal so I can't really say much about it it's too messy so here's the uh, essentials tool kit had all that stuff I just mentioned getting to be a pretty long review here um, comes in a nice little plastic uh, container here and reading material with it as well um, so here's your white pastel stick I don't remember what this one was uh, your black pastel charcoal another ew another charcoal stick here uh, and then you got your uh, same stuff as it got in a little bit cheaper bag was the 2H a 4B a 2B no no 2H uh, but you get an HB standard. Two more uh, charcoal pencils, and then my favorite pencil, which is flipped around here, is the extra black five 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 five. I really like that pencil. That was gonna go right into my there. Oh, extra black people, extra black. And then uh. Another sharpener, throw it out in there. And then your kneaded eraser. Now, kneaded erasers, they're cool. I've used them. They smell like crap, though. So, and again, erasers. Ooh, that one went flying. But I don't use the erasers. And probably not going to put the charcoal stuff in my. I'm going to have, have a separate carrying case for the charcoal stuff. I, I should use it. i got to learn how to use other mediums. Because uh, using different mediums actually teaches you a little bit more with the other mediums that you use the most. Um, so i got to find a different kind of container to put this charcoal stuff in. And I don't remember what the red one was. Uh, it just says little red. Am I in macro? No, I'm not in macro. Sorry, folks. Um, little red all art artists no it's the sanguine the sanguine hey blood angels it's the sanguine pastel stick that's what it is okay so here's your sanguine pastel stick that red do hickey there maybe we can paint some blood angels with that um, and again these here I I've already used them in the, on the other brand, so I'm familiar with these, but again, uh, it's pretty cool. I'll do an example here for you. And look, I got another pencil sharpener. Made in the USA. So, here we go. Let's take the... Because you can't do this with any other kind of pencils. Unless they have the little, um, unless they mention what they are. Uh, a lot of them, that if they're paintable, they'll have like the, well not paintable, but if they're dissolvable by water. Now, General does sell a liquid graphic. It's like, it comes in like an ink bottle. 
liquid graphite is what I'm trying to say. Not graphic. Liquid graphite. Anyways, um, let's get to you freaking charcoal pencils flying all over the place. We'll do the trees. So, here we go. Take the, um, where the heck did it go? Okay. So, again, this is the sketch and wash. Oh, I killed the logo. Anyways, so it's sketch and wash. So you can take, uh, let's do like the mountain scene here. And we'll just darken that up a little bit more. Lays down pretty smooth. And I don't know if you can really see that, but you can't get the camera any closer with the tripod set up. So now we'll take our cheapo brush. I'm gonna put it in some dirty water because I was painting last night. So now let's get this in the macro. Wow, 20 minutes. Oh, we're in macro. Dumbass. Okay, anyways, so check this out. So you can do, you could probably layer this up if you wanted to. Oh, look at that. Is that coming in? Probably not. There you go, see? There's your gradient tones. And you could probably, even if you wanted to, you could do it on a separate. See, I got my nasty oil thumb up here. That's going to leave a mark later. But you can, um, if you wanted to, you could do like a big graphite spot on a different piece of paper. At, you know, like fill it up, put some water in there, and then you could switch it around like watercolor and then apply it onto the piece. I need more water. So here we go. Not enough room to work with. Well, I got probably a little bit too much water now, but you can see here where it's it's pulling it's pulling that graphite. So you can kind of blend that around. And now I'm just doubling up. This paper is probably not gonna hold up to the water. So basically this is li like General's liquid graphite but just in a solid form and it, it dissolves. Well there's woodlet, there's um, those, there are those uh, watercolor pencils that you can get. So kind of in the same principle. And then uh, you could let this dry, go back over it with some more and then do your layering. It's so you kind of like, you can do like a glazing technique for your tones. But uh, yeah, sketch and wash generals and that's pretty much it generals products made in america